Hey guys, welcome to Toy Box TV Top 5. I'm Allison. I'm Tyler. And I'm Justin. And I hope you have your tickets ready because today we're taking the Toy Box to Magic Kingdom for the second part of the Walt Disney World project. I gotta say, playing these Toy Boxes is like taking a little mini vacation. Except you don't have to wait in lines in the Toy Box. Oh, very, very true. Our number five Toy Box takes us to Tomorrowland on a fan favorite, I need to sit down and enjoy the sights ride. Let's check out People Mover by Jedi McFly. First off, congrats to Jedi McFly for your first placement in the top five. Your rendition of the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover was so beautiful. I agree, Allison. Using the Tomorrowland textures from the Tomorrowland Power Disc Pack added great design. Also, the Space Mountain music added great atmosphere. That's my all-time favorite music from the Disney parks, hands down. Totally. Awesome job on your very first placing toy box, Jedi McFly. Yeah, your toy box was a lot of fun. Congratulations. All right, partners, let's ride out to the Wild West and get in some target practice in this Runin Tootin toy box by the Baroness 89, the Frontierland Shootin' Arcade. The Baroness strayed away from the traditional Frontierland Shootin' Arcade. The Toy Box Magic Kingdom gets an upgraded attraction instead. Hop on and shoot at the moving targets. This toy box is hooked up with a leaderboard. Keep at it, and maybe you can be as good as the Sheriff of Frontierland. This toy box has a similar feel to Toy Story Mania and Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Way to think outside of the box, Baroness. And of course, congrats on placing at number four. I hope you guys are ready to listen to my favorite song on repeat. Let's check out Small World WDW by Turner Bros. Hello and welcome to It's a Small World, the happiest cruise that ever sailed. Turner Bros did an amazing job recreating this adorable Fantasyland attraction. From the queue line to the actual attraction itself, the details were awesome. On top of all of that, there are also five hidden Mickeys throughout the attraction. Can you guys find them all? Congrats on ranking at number three, Turner Bros. Yeah, the detail in this toy box really let it shine. Our number two slot actually holds two toy boxes. This toy box artist made two such beautifully crafted toy boxes that we just had to show them both. Here's Peter Pan's Flight and Seven Dwarfs Mine Train by Diz Explorer 03. Of course, what Magic Kingdom toy box adventure would be complete without riding the classic Peter Pan's Flight? Hop on board Hook Ship, which Diz Explorer connected to his toy box via the Captain Hook Ship power disc, and soar over London Town and Neverland. Just a touch of pixie dust and you'll be on your way, but I think my favorite is the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Me too. Hop in a mine car and zip through the mine where a million diamonds shine. The design on this toy box is top notch. Both of your toy boxes were equally amazing, Diz Explorer. Congrats on your number two placement. Hear ye, hear ye. The time has come to unveil the number one toy box. Here we go, guys. The number one spot goes to New, New Fantasyland Land. by toy box artist team or Daddy3 and King of the Tunas. Welcome to New Fantasyland, the Magic Kingdom's largest expansion ever. Check out that view! From the sandy beaches of Under the Sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid, to the deep forest where Beast Castle resides. The design on this toy box is breathtaking. And that's just the hub. And Under the Sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid, ride a clamshell through Ariel's story to become part of our world. Nice Ursula block art too! Now watch your step as you exit and head over to Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. The track is super impressive and extremely accurate. This is a wonderful tribute to the crowning jewel of New Fantasyland. Amazing, amazing job on the Magic Kingdom toy box. Agreed, congratulations. This week's Rising Star toy box takes us back to Frontierland to find our laughing place. Let's check out Splash Mountain by Albino Dino 2002. Welcome to Splash Mountain. Hop in a log and follow the adventures of Br'er Rabbit all the way down to the Briar Patch. Warning, you may get wet. This is very impressive for it being your first toy box ever, Albano Dino. You've definitely mastered the tactile and toy box design. Agreed. Splash Mountain is a really ambitious project for your first toy box, and you totally rocked it. Amazing job, dude. And we hope to see more toy boxes from you in the future. Congratulations. That was so much fun. Magic Kingdom really is the most magical place on Earth. But the fun isn't over yet. It's time for phase three of the Walt Disney World project, the Epcot Challenge. Now, Epcot is home to some of the most memorable sights, shows, and attractions. My favorite has to be Test Track. Design your own car and take it out on the track to test and see how durable it is. Plus, topping with speeds at over 60 miles per hour, Test Track is the fastest attraction of all of Walt Disney World. 
Okay, so you can't forget about Mission Space though. This thing spins you around to give you two G-forces of pressure to make you feel like you're actually blasting off to Mars. I have always wanted to be an astronaut. Aww. How about blasting off to World Showcase? I love it there. You get to absorb the sights, sounds, and of course the amazing food of 11 different countries from around the world. Yum, you can't beat that. This is just a fraction of the fun you can experience in Epcot though. You have an entire month to build your toy box for the Epcot challenge. Your toy boxes are due on Wednesday, April 6th at noon Pacific time. Make sure you include hashtag WDWProject in the description of your toy box to qualify. Good luck, guys. All right, guys, now it's time for this week's toy box challenge, the, the collection, collection challenge. challenge. This challenge is great for every kind of player from new to veteran. All you have to do is build a toy box where you must collect items. You can choose from any number of collection items from the toys menu. There are cookies, pizzas, clovers, mushrooms, cupcakes, pizza. I already said pizza. I know, I just really like pizza. <laughs> Anyways, all of your toy boxes for the collection challenge are due by Wednesday, March 16th at noon Pacific time. Be sure to include hashtag collection challenge in the description to qualify. So that's all we have for this week. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on our weekly episodes. And get to work on those Epcot toy boxes. You have a whole month to make them. And of course, work on those collection challenge toy boxes too. You only have this week on those. And keep up the awesome job on the March Leaderboard Challenge, March Monsters Lucky Lake. You have until the end of the month to top the leaderboards. All right, guys. See you next week. And remember, if you can dream it, you, you can, can do it. it.